Hey there Windowers and welcome to another episode of Windows on Windows, part of the series on the development of Windows 98. In this episode we'll be taking a look at Windows 98 build 1998, the official final build of Windows 98 compiled on the 12th of May 1998. That's a lot of 98s, but anyway, this build was the result of the accumulation of many minor changes and additions, taking place over many builds since the last build I looked at which was build 1602. So without further ado, let's take a look and let's start. So here we are at the desktop of Windows 98 build 1998 and this was the official final build of Windows 98 or as it has become known retroactively Windows 98 first edition and that's because this build is not actually the end of the story for Windows 98 because around a year later Microsoft released an updated version of the operating system known as Windows 98 second edition. So perhaps unusually even though we've now reached the RTM or release to manufacturing build of Windows 98 this is not quite the end of the Windows 98 story or indeed this series of videos. However, coming back to build 1998, and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, between the last build I looked at, which was build 1602, and this build, there hasn't really been any single build with more than one or two new or changed features. So I thought it would make a bit more sense to move on straight to build 1998. However, I will talk you through all of the main additions and changes that have taken place between build 1602 and build 1998. So firstly, and as usual, I want to draw your attention back to the setup procedure that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Now we've had a few changes changes in setup since build 1602, there's now an opportunity to select a country of residence which is used to determine which channel show up on your channel bar. So as you can see, since I chose the United Kingdom, I have a link to, for example, the BBC, which is the British Broadcasting Corporation, and this feature was added to setup in build 1619. Also in setup, there is now no longer a swipe in animation from the right when the setup billboards appear, and the billboards themselves have been rewritten, and both of these changes came in build 1622. Four. You may have also noticed at the beginning of the video that we now of course have the final Windows 98 boot screen and this came with build 1702 and it's very similar to the boot screen we saw in build 1602. The main changes being that we of course no longer have a reference to this being a beta build, a slight change to the colouring of the Windows logo and the Microsoft Windows 98 text being a little lower in the final version. Now coming back to the desktop of build 1998 and the only significant change here is that if you activate the active desktop the default wallpaper is now a darker shade of blue and this change was made in build 1702. As for Explorer itself, we now have the very famous clouds graphic in WebView, which was introduced in build 1624, and WebView itself is now turned on by default, and this change was made in build 1900. Now one thing I do want to mention here is that previously in the series we saw a feature called Web Folders that appeared in the My Computer folder, and I specified that this feature did make its way into the final build of Windows 98. However, this is not actually correct, so as you can see here, Web Folders are definitely not in this build of Windows 98. They did, however, make their way into the final build of Windows 98 second edition and I will of course talk more about that later in the series. Also in Explorer we now have the final design for the Throbber in the top right of each window featuring the Windows logo on a black background instead of an Internet Explorer logo and this was changed in build 1723.4 with the original Throbber as far as I'm aware arriving in build 1559 although I actually missed this earlier in the series. Now if we go into control panel and select sounds, you'll see that we do have the final Windows 98 sounds. Now the startup sound was already present by build 1602 as I mentioned in that video, although the final shutdown sound was introduced at some point between that build and of course this one. One last thing I can show you in Explorer is the famous Windows 98 easter egg which was added in build 1713 and activated exactly the same way as in the final build here. Now as for any other changes by build 1998, probably the most significant are that we now of course have the final version of the Welcome to Windows 98 program which arrived in build 1687 and with minor changes since build 1602, for example we of course no longer have a reference to the beta guide. Also the tune-up wizard has been renamed to the maintenance wizard which came in build 1681 and there is also a new internet connection wizard which arrived in build 1687. There is also some new artwork for the FAT32 converter utility which which was introduced in build 1650. And that's everything significant that I've discovered in build 1998. So as usual, please do let me know if you find anything yourself in this build that I may have missed. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.